We begin with breaking news as we go on the air at noon. Hurricane Milton is churning closer to the west coast of Florida. The outer bands of the storm already affecting Punta Gorda as we take a look at live conditions here. The National Hurricane Center predicts Milton will make landfall during the overnight hours. Here's a live look at St. Petersburg. A storm surge as high as 12 feet is predicted in Tampa Bay, up to 15 feet for points farther south. Highways are packed with evacuees, but at this point in the day, officials fear it is just too late to get out of that danger zone. As the storm approaches, severe weather is already being seen in some areas. There are currently several tornado warnings in the state. Check this out. A tornado caught on camera this morning. This is Broward County. Officials say it doesn't appear to have impacted any populated areas. Thanks for being here at noon. I'm Kay Quinn. Hurricane Milton is now a Category 4, but was a Category 5 during much of its approach. The National Weather Service says it's expected to be a dangerous major hurricane when it hits Tampa. NBC's Jay Gray has the latest from Fort Myers. Well, we want to give you an idea of what's going on on the ground right now here in Fort Myers. Uh, we know that we're now just hours away from this storm uh, moving in and making landfall overnight into the early morning hours. So the time for preparation is quickly closing here. What we've seen over the last few hours is people sandbagging, boarding up and, and making sure they are ready for this storm. And thankfully, many in the evacuation zones, there are 400,000 people just in Lee County alone here in the Fort Myers area uh, that are in mandatory evacuation zones. And it looks like a majority of them have moved to higher ground, moved to areas outside of the strike zone to make sure that they stay safe. Now they say, and I talked with some who were evacuating last night, and they, they told me the, the worst part now is the waiting and, and the watching to see exactly what's going to happen and what this storm is going to leave behind. Preparations on the state side of this, they are continuing for as long as they can. And here's what the governor, Ron DeSantis, had to say about the effort they've put into preparing for Milton. The National Guard is deploying 6,000 Florida National Guardsmen as well as 3,000 National Guardsmen from other states. And so we thank for the support on that. We have 500 tactical vehicles, including 180 high water vehicles, aerial water and ground National Guard search and rescue teams. This is the largest Florida National Guard search and rescue mobilization in the entire history of the state of Florida. Unfortunately, forecasters are telling us they'll likely need all of that manpower once this storm clears. Again, a major hurricane and moving in on the west coast of Florida, expected landfall sometime overnight into the early morning hours. That's the latest here in Fort Myers. I'm Jay Gray, NBC News. Disney World, Universal and SeaWorld are hunkering down as Milton arrives. The theme parks in Orlando will be closed tomorrow. It'll be the first time Disney's closed since Hurricane Ian in 2022. Meteorologist Jim Castillo has the latest on the storm's strength and timing. Jim? All right, Kay. So we're look looking at Santa Maria Island, and this is northwest of uh, Sarasota. And at times, the heavy rain comes down, and they also have a threat of uh, not only severe weather, but uh, those severe storms are producing tornadoes inland and also some water spouts, uh, threats of that as we go throughout the entire afternoon and early evening. It's hours away now from landfall. And so uh, we're talking as much as uh, eight hours to 12 hours away. They are expecting the forward movement to slow down. So that's why the timing is a little bit iffy in terms of if it does slow down enough, that'll uh, cause it to uh, move in a little bit later this evening. So 40, 145 mile per hour winds and about 145 miles west of Fort Myers, Florida. Moving northeast now at 17. Again, it's expected to slow down a little bit. The eye is not as defined as it was, but this is a major and powerful hurricane and the wind field is expanding on this. The yeah, yeah, well, actually yellow polygons would be severe storms and you get the red polygons. Those are tornado warnings and then the pink ones are either observed or radar confirmed tornadoes that we've had uh, anywhere near Fort Myers and also inland portions of Florida. So a tornado watch is in effect there until nine o'clock from Tampa all the way down to Miami, including the Naples area. And here's that future cast. It is expected to be a major category three hurricane this evening. So we'll have more on this coming up in Maine weather and our forecast includes a warm up 
and then a big cool down.